How's it going everyone? This is Dad in the City Outdoors coming to you with the final part to our build on the 1973 315 Deluxe Lund Boat and Trailer. I'll show you what I did, things that I didn't do, and things I might have done differently. Okay, so some of the things that I had already previously were these posts. Now what I did differently is that originally they were all PVC. I did end up buying a kit that had an aluminum arms or the bumpers from Amazon. Um, they were probably about 60 bucks I think. Just to continue to add to the trailer because I did have a time where I didn't put the boat back on the trailer, had a wave come through and just break that PVC completely off. Prior to that, the PVC was working. I think for this boat, it was just a little bit too light. On a smaller Lund boat, you know, maybe a 12 foot aluminum boat, it probably would work perfect. Um, and it's a lot cheaper, but I did have to switch over to this. What I do have on these, and I had before also, were these lights. These lights have, they're just running lights, red, and your amber orange ones here. The trailer was completely redone, um, uh, you know, down to the nuts and bolts, painted. I did add some Rust-Oleum um, rust paint prior to the black, and I did a black flat, a flat uh, black paint on here. The paint on the actual boat was an olive um, drab, I think it was called, and then I mixed it so it was a little bit lighter. One thing I did notice is I did take it out finally and it seems like this paint was taking a little bit longer to cure in certain spots. So in some spots like here when I took it out I ended up taking it out to a dock where it was very uh, low and it did get scratched so some of that old paint did get scratched through but you can't really feel it so it's a little odd but I can feel that it's a bit still tacky and it's been a couple uh, weeks now. Okay the top or the inside i did white one thing i would definitely not do again is white because it does get dirty very quick it looks nice when you have it down however it does get dirty i reupholstered everything did some modification this lipo was already installed previously but i have to take it down and completely redo it um, it was also set up with like an old like carpet blue carpet this looks a little bit more modern makes the whole feel uh completely different the Minkota power drive here, this is a 45 pound um, trolling motor. This thing was great. Um, I did get it for free, however, it wasn't working. person that I got it from, you know, there was a couple things wrong, so I did have to work on it. So free wasn't, isn't necessarily always a good thing. Uh, after I did some modifications, got a new control board, it ended up costing me about $152. But you know what, $152 for a Main quarter power drive uh, version 2 now because of the control board that I installed. Um, it has that new connection. You know, it's 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 a lot more upgradable now. But it still did cost me, you know, that money there. I ended up installing the plate up front. And this is one thing I do like about this boat is like this was like the perfect space for it. It's dead center um, on this boat. I, like I said, when I took it out, it worked out great it tracks perfectly on here I did install my navigation lights it was due to the fact that I had to put this plate here and I took off the old navigation lights okay so here are the navigation lights. so these LEDs are great again I did get them on Amazon um, and wired them through the split there's the hole and the top on here but they were great you know they're very bright at night they illuminate about three feet all the way around so that was one of the additions that i put on here another thing that we did is i changed the strap and kind of changed the location roller this is not probably the way it should be or it was but i honestly i don't think this trailer was original for this boat and honestly the way it was set up before I didn't really like it was set up on the bumper but it wasn't always catching here it catches almost every time I need a you know also due to the fact that the strap itself wasn't lining up even and ended up splitting here so I had to rivet the bow together again but those are some of the additions ended up uh, installing new chains a lot better on here um, you know heavier duty 
you know they have clips they just work better the wiring on the trailer was already done uh, the year before so I didn't have to worry about that one of the other additions that we did to this and it probably won't show that well at the moment will be some of the inside ambient lighting I put so some of that ambient lighting that we did is the screen light and I'll come over here to the front you can see that LEDs they go all the way around I ended up having to mess around with this a few times because the original LED lights that I had, I had in here didn't stake um, the the sticker was not that great or the sticky uh, 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 adhesive it came in I ended up having to spend a little bit more than I wanted to but overall it was worth it they go all the way around there's my assistant there you know and they come in through the bottom all the way around on here which leads us to the console the console itself um, I did do last year it's set up here I have the main power shows the voltage sonar ambient lights uh, it shows the navigation lights my bilge pump and then also my live well on here um, it was you know just typical Amazon one thing that I didn't realize that I did wrong was my lower light LEDs these are really supposed to only turn on when I turn on the master switch but if you notice as I turn off the master switch the lights stay on so it is draining battery the LEDs it shouldn't drain that much however uh, I didn't feel like rewiring everything again and there's probably just two little connections so for the time being what I did what's my own little I guess battery switch it's just these alligator clips take that off no more power to the console and that power is the console one of the things I do like with this uh, setup is my battery gets charged through this motor I did have issues you guys can probably see other videos on there and I have some reels where wanted took it a couple places they want to charge me 700 plus dollars to get this thing going honestly if you can dive into it yourself a little bit although go with caution you know you know what you're capable of doing I feel pretty comfortable doing it and I got the motor going again um, other than that I do need to do a couple things this was an old cushion that was already installed in that boat and you know it, it needs it needs some love you know on here but what I did differently is this is kind of my storage I do have this was for the gas tank but for now I'm using it as storage to put things in here I did add this little uh, like two three dollar uh, hinge arm that way I can keep that latch open once it needs to be done close it down it's good to go now we talked about some things that you know went wrong it was right here I did use the gel coat for the hole of the boat and overall honestly everything on this boat because everything got covered with that same uh, gel marine gel coat turned out great but I did have some spots where it kind of blistered you know and didn't cure I have no idea why that happened you know I ended up sanding it down and going over it again and same thing you know right here's a good example it I sanded down all this area it took well here but then on the sides it didn't so I'm not too worried like I said this is my own boat so you know I'm okay with how it turned out overall this was the build it took me a little bit longer than I expected just due to tank constraints weather and everything like that I'll do another video where I talk about you know or we'll have the boat out in the water so you guys can see how it is if you have any questions, comments, you know, please feel free to drop them down in the comment section. And as always, this is Dad in the City telling you to enjoy the outdoors no matter what the conditions. Have a great day.